I am Makima, the control devil from Chainsaw Man series. My power, charm, and unpredictability make me a formidable and intriguing character. This is my story. One day, I went to exterminate the zombie devil, but found someone had already killed it. I then saw Denji as Chainsaw Man, and after he asked me to hug him, he turned back into a human. I told him he had two options, be killed by me or be kept as my pet. He agreed to be kept as my pet when he heard I would feed him. While traveling in the car, Denji's stomach growled, and I offered to buy him some food. As we ordered food, a man rushed in and asked for help. I sent Denji to deal with the situation since he was my pet. After he returned, I complimented him for being a good pet. I explained that there are a few precedents like his, but there is still no name for his situation. I also stated that I could sense that Pochita was still alive in him. I then fed him soggy udon, and Denji asked me what my type was, to which I responded that it was him. I introduced Denji to the other members of Division 4 that he would be living with, Aki Hayakawa, and the Blood Fiend Power. During the Bat Devil arc, I commanded Denji and Power to patrol and search for a devil. After Power recklessly killed the Sea Cucumber Devil, I went to the place where she killed that devil. I told Denji and Power about the consequences of killing a devil, which was already being searched by the police, pointing out that they should receive a punishment for what happened. In this case, the punishment was death, but I decided to make a blind eye and pretend they didn't break the rules giving them a warning so they could behave better and then left. I met with the higher members of the Bureau about the American incident which causes the Soviets using devils for military applications to fight against Japan. It was revealed that I also experimented on Division 4 because I want to develop a squad of dogs and use them for battle purposes. Later that night, I am in my office hearing the report of Aki Hayakawai about the defeat of Bat and Leech Devils that afternoon. Before he leaves, I state that Aki has become more flexible, something that he denies. The next day in the morning, I have a phone call and tell Aki that from now on, Power will stay at his place and live with them. At the HQ, I ask Denji to do some paperwork. I notice him distracted while filling the papers and ask him if something has him worried. Right after hearing Denji's concern, I approach and bite one of his fingers and make him touch my chest. Then I motivate Denji to hunt the gun devil by promising to grant him any wish. I then command Division 4 to kill the Eternity Devil and retrieve the piece of the gun devil's flesh in its possession. During the Eternity Devil arc, I go out drinking with the team in celebration of our victory. I am on my way to meet with members of the Special Division 1 when my fellow devil hunters are attacked by followers of the gun devil. In the Katana Man arc, I survive getting shot in the head thanks to my contract with the Japanese Prime Minister, which allows me to divert or inflict my fatal wounds on any random Japanese citizen who is suffering from a terminal illness. I later kill some of the assailants thanks to my proxy wrath ability that requires me to sacrifice criminals condemned to life in prison. After the attack, I introduce Denji and Power to the strongest devil hunter in the Special Division 1, known only as Master. After they complete their training, Master and I have dinner where he accuses me of using Denji and Power as pawns in my schemes and questions my allegiance to humanity. Later, I meet with members of the Yakuza and force them to disclose the names of the people who attacked Division 4 by presenting them with a bag filled with the eyeballs of their loved ones and refuse to return them to a healthy state if they do not cooperate. After successfully infiltrating the hideout and capturing the Katana Man, I report to a superior. I report that Sawatari, who was a former private devil hunter, contracted with the gun devil and passed guns to the Yakuza, in exchange for which she wanted the chainsaw devil's heart. I also report that Sawatari committed suicide before we could interrogate her, and that we obtained 1.4 kilograms of gun devil fragments, which when combined with our already obtained 5 kilograms, was moving towards the main body. I later examine Power and say that her blood must be drained to keep her in check. I assign Beam as Denji's partner until the blood draining is complete. I then invite Denji on a date, we watch movies together and are mostly unmoved with them. In the final movie, both Denji and I are moved to tears. After that movie, Denji asks me if I think that he has a heart to which I respond by placing my head on his chest and saying that he does. 
In the Bomb Girl arc, I partner Aki with the Angel Devil, stating that he is the most powerful member of the fourth, excluding Kishibi. I also tell Aki that the Angel Devil is lazy, and that he doesn't have to be friendly with him, only to use him well as he could be a valuable asset. I intercepted Rize when she was going to meet Denji at the cafe. Using my ability to travel as a mischief of rats, I told her that I too liked the country mouse and talked about going to help a friend who lives in the country, stating that catching the mice that ruin the fields gives me peace of mind. With the help of the angel devil waiting on the rooftop above the alleyway, I disarmed Reze and stood in a pool of her blood. As for the international assassin's arc, I visited Denji's apartment and invited him, Aki, and Power on a vacation to Enoshima. Denji and Aki readily agreed, and Power tried to worm her way out of it to no success. A group of public safety devil hunters entered the apartment and informed me of a development. Denji, in his chainsaw devil form, has become public knowledge due to Rize's efforts, which I was angry about. I commented that America and China would both be after Denji due to his rarity as someone who is neither devil nor fiend, and that the Soviet Union likely did this so that, no matter who captured Denji, he would be away from me. I postponed the trip to Enoshima, informing Denji that he would be without freedom for the foreseeable future. I gave orders to the other devil hunters for Kusakabe and Tamauki, from Miyagi Public Safety Devil Extermination Division 2, and Subaru from Kyoto Public Safety Devil Extermination Division 1, to be brought in, and that Hirofumi Yoshida was to be hired from the civilian sector, to protect Denji. On my way out, I informed Aki that the operation to kill the gun devil would commence next year, and that he should try not to die in the meantime since we would need everybody for that operation. I then spoke with Kishibi about the potential threats that would be coming our way, including a rumor that Quan Shi is coming, which Kishibi was unhappy with. I stated that it is no use taking precautions against her, and that the one we really need to be worrying about is Germany's Santa Claus, who is rumored to have died of old age, but is still the biggest threat out there. Later, alongside Beam and Prinz, I took care of a large number of Santa Claus puppet dolls in a ruined building. I ordered Beam to go assist Denji, and told Prinz to make sure to save Denji, no matter what and to recover the bodies of any devil hunters who perish. Afterward, I sat atop a pile of puppet corpses, and showed an awareness that Denji and several other devil hunters were under assault from the darkness devil in hell. I stated that the darkness devil was intentionally bidding me to come and tried to save them. Prinz, who had been defeated already by the darkness devil, begged me not to come but after I gave the order. Prinz dutifully summoned me by unzipping her upper body open and allowing me to emerge in hell. I and the darkness devil pointed at each other, exchanging attacks, causing my finger to break and the darkness devil to begin bleeding profusely. I make my way over to Tulka's body. I exchange another round of attacks with the darkness devil, which causes my entire right arm to contort and break. I touch Tulka's body and force him to speak to the Hell Devil, making an offer to exchange everything in order to be returned to Earth. The Darkness Devil summons a black blade which pierces my chest, just as the Hell Devil's hand sweeps through, and returns all of the survival devil hunters and bodies to the top of the department store on Earth. I cradle Denji as the real Santa Claus, now transformed into a monstrous doll form, jumps up to the roof and faces me. I greet Santa Claus and pull Denji's chainsaw cord, triggering his transformation. I advise him that since the enemy has ingested a piece of the darkness devil's flesh, that no attacks in the darkness will work, and then bid him to defend me. Denji loyally responds with a woof and jumps into combat against Santa Claus. Once Denji manages to defeat Santa Claus, he is approached by Quan Chi and her fiends. They instantly surrender upon my arrival, with Quan Chi begging that her harem be spared. I decapitate them without hesitation. In the Gun Devil arc, with much of the squad still reeling from their encounter with the Darkness Devil, I reveal that the Gun Devil has been located and in fact has been largely divided up between the world's most powerful nations to be used as a weapon. The President of the United States, under contract with the Gun Devil, sacrifices one year of every citizen's lifespan in order to issue a command attack Japan and kill me, as I'm viewed as a serious threat. Shortly before the attack, 
I use my powers to compel Aki and the Angel Devil to serve as my pawns. In addition, I summon several deceased Devil Hunters and am able to use their Devil Contracts by proxy. The Gun Devil appears in Japan and unleashes a devastating attack, causing many casualties and large-scale damage. Although the ensuing battle is not shown, it is implied that I am able to weaken the Gun Devil enough for it to possess Eki's corpse and turn him into a fiend. In the Control Devil arc, after Denji is forced to kill Aki in order to defeat the Gun Fiend, he goes to me seeking comfort and direction, stating that he is too depressed and detached to make his own decisions anymore and would prefer to be told what to do like a pet. At my residence, I am shown to be the owner of many energetic and affectionate dogs. I tell Denji matter-of-factly that I have invited power over as well, and when Denji opens the door, I will kill her. True to my word, as power arrives, I instantly blast her apart, leaving only her head and legs. I explain to Denji that I deliberately plan to provide him with a family unit and various sources of happiness, only to rip them away in order to break him. Ultimately, my goal is to allow the dormant Chainsaw Devil to take over completely. Meanwhile, Kishibi and his team are plotting to attack me as I'm revealed to be the Control Devil. I state that I am a Chainsaw Devil fanatic and would either like to control him or be consumed by him. At my command, Denji, having apparently lost himself, transforms into the fully powered Chainsaw Devil. Kishibi's men summon the Hell Devil by sacrificing their lives, but the Chainsaw Devil's strength is overwhelming. In my efforts to subjugate the Chainsaw Devil, who had gone berserk, I called upon a group of weapon hybrids, several of whom were former enemies presumed dead, including Raze, Quanchi, and Katana Man, but who now serve me with adoration. Once again, the Chainsaw Devil largely overwhelmed his attackers, though he was weakened when I pointed out the general public's fear that powers him as waning, as they now view him as a hero. I used the Angel Devil to create a powerful spear and launched it at the Chainsaw Devil, impaling him. However, the Chainsaw Devil was revived after Pochide had an inner conversation with the remnants of power, whose existence persists in Denji due to him having consumed her blood prior. Pochida granted her the ability to emerge as the fully powered Blood Devil, but she was no match for me. Power was able to hide Denji in a dumpster before dying. After being recovered by Kishibi, Denji battled me and my minions for the final time at a mass gravesite. I was perplexed and disappointed that Denji's personality had seemingly resurfaced. I was able to defeat him and rip out his heart. Having achieved my goal, I rested for a moment, but was then attacked by Denji who appeared from a pile of corpses, wielding a chainsaw imbued with power's blood. After dealing me a fatal blow, he told me that I had been battling Pochita, while he hid and waited for an opportunity to strike. When Kishibi arrived, Denji apologized before pointing the chainsaw at me, seemingly ending me. After my defeat, Denji reveals his grotesque plan to consume me, turning my remains into various meals in order to circumvent my regenerative powers. He claims it's an act of love, but I find it repulsive. Denji then shares his theory that I only perceived people by scent, believing I was so indifferent towards him that I never remember his. This allowed him to ambush me, which I find both impressive and frustrating. Kishibi informs Denji that a new control devil has been brought over from China, taking the form of a young black-haired girl named Neyuda. He warns that she must not be allowed to go down a similar path as I did. I am effectively gone, and Denji is left to care for Neyuda. It's an interesting turn of events, and I wonder what the future holds for these two. Thank you for watching. Be sure to subscribe to the channel to watch more upcoming character journals. Next will be Joan Liebert's journal from Monster Series. Also make sure to turn on your notifications so that you won't miss out.